Hey there, it's Dan with our special guest feature on the Funniest Hockey Song Show. And uh, today's guest is an interesting one, okay? I'm going to question for you. What do Air Supply, Billy Joel, James Taylor, Barbara Streisand, Carly Simon have in common? I'll give you a second. Time's up. Rory Dodd. They all sang with Rory Dodd. And Meatloaf did too. And Rory, it's nice to have you on board here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Dan. Yeah, we're doing this uh, little, um, this five episode guitar lessons. But the point of the thing is that we're going to get two lucky folks to write the funniest hockey song. It's Canada's Game and Sticks and Picks, the group that we're doing this show for, uh, help families get kids hockey equipment who can't necessarily afford it. And guitar lessons too so they're looking at the whole person and we've got this little contest for fun the winner goes to jacasa studios to record their funniest hockey song and the 14 under group the winner gets a guitar so that's what we're doing so Absolutely. we're trying to help them with the art of writing this song and i thought i know you haven't written too many songs but i do know you've sang with all the greats and i thought let's find out what makes a great song so you know, lots of ways to write a song. Lots, well, lots of things make a great song. What's your experience, Rory? What makes a great song? What makes a great song? Um, well, the title, perhaps. I mean, you take. You were talking about meatloaf. Uh, when you listen to those songs, a bat out of hell. You took the words right out of my mouth for crying out loud. Heaven can wait. Left in the dark. These are just titles. Yeah. You, you take something simple and you start with that. All and something that we've all said that stuff, right? Like we've all said those lines. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, a, it's a common phrase. Yeah. And Simon was uh, brilliant that way. Um, making love out of nothing at all. I mean, the guy wrote hit a total eclipse. I mean, that was number one for six weeks. Bat Out of Hell was the third biggest selling record of all time. That's not by happenstance. You know, yeah. when you hear a phrase like that, you know it, you listen. I think, uh, though, with Total Eclipse, your little, your little, so well-known little piece in that song also helped that song, because that's the one everybody remembers in that song. Well, of course, it, 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 find a hook. When you find a hook, yeah. and hook meaning something you hear all the time, you, you hook them in, you, you take... Um, like born to be wild, you know, bum, yep. ba, da, 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 born to be wild. If you can write something that people will grab onto, yeah, that's important. You got to do it for yourself. I mean, a lot of people internalize, which is beautiful, also. This is very important, right here. Yeah. A, a cup of coffee helps <laughs> get some in you. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, you know, that's neat because in this during the show, I've been uh. Given, given the listeners and the, the viewers some words, lexicon of words that they can play around with and pull on that are sort of hockey terminology and hockey phrases. The five hole, a breakaway, right? Slap shoots, he shot. scores. Yeah, he shoots, he scores, absolutely. And uh, so, you know, with your uh, observation about that thing, that's great. So there's a real hot clue for you folks. We're gonna take it. Big save on a beauty. That's right, yeah. And we're going to go for a commercial right now, and then we're going to come back and talk a little more. All right. Hold that. Don't touch that dial. We are back. I'm back here with Rory Dodd of Port Dover, Ontario. Lives in Simcoe now. We're not telling you his address. We did not want to sign any more autographs than he has in his whole career, so forget it. But uh, Rory, how are things? How's your uh, Christmas preparation going? It's going. I have Ruth doing it all. I do nothing. I just show up. Excellent. Well, listen, don't get me anything bigger than you did last year. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the uh, what are some of the funny uh, things you've witnessed? Uh, this is, a, you know, a funny is an important thing. But if we look at sort of your we're asking people to write a funny hockey song. Well, your profession is you're in a band, you're in recording studios, you were in a number of bands play supporting them with music. What's the funniest thing off the top of your head that you can recount for a family audience? For a family audience. <laughs> that's right. That's that's uh, funny. Um, anything I did with Steinman was funny. Uh, you know, people, not funny, but funny. If you're wearing headphones, 
and the guy that's at the control board turns something and it gives a high pitched squeak, just ear piercing. Three guys in a studio, it happens, boom, headphones everywhere. <laughs> now, that may not sound funny, but yeah, it's yeah. hysterical when it happens. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got three guys going like this, going, what the, you know. <laughs> Some yeah, yeah, yeah. backup singer Tai Chi, eh? Yeah, yeah. Martial art. <laughs> get the headphones off. <laughs> and you get this thing going. <laughs> hey. Unreal. Now, um, what's the worst song you've ever heard? There's a plethora of those uh, that I've heard on the radio yeah. that drives you nuts. Yeah, earworm kind of a thing, yeah. Feeling, <laughs> nothing more than feelings. And that's because he's irritating. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, it's funny, you know, that song with my name, Fewings, I used to sing. Fewings, simply just then fewings. I've got a few things, but uh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. And do. that's funny because that was that was somebody who just. This is what's real important um, for some uh, is lyrics. That song was a, a. I don't know if it was Italian or French or whatever. Was written in French. Uh, dime, da, 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 dime. So somebody had to sit down uh, and not translate exactly. But write a lyric that fit the melody. So they tried to find the feelings in the song. <laughs> I can see how he did it. I already I'm understand. I'm <laughs> looking <laughs> for <laughs> the feelings. Uh, when I hear it, I always go, feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this is great. Thank you so much. And I know uh, that uh, the last performance we were able to do together with, and you joined the three martinis for a gig out at the homegrown hideaway. I'm on on the, um, what road is that on? That is on St. John's yeah. blue line. Oh, and yeah. uh, it was sure fun singing with you. And I hope we get to do it again. And uh, thank you for this. We could be talking all the time, but. Uh, we well, see there it is again with the song title. Yep. Bye bye love. That's it. They got it. You got a you got a phrase and you go with it. Yeah, that's right. Well, bye bye, brother. He ain't heavy. He's my brother, Rory Dodd. Thank you so much. And uh we'll uh see you down the road of music, my friend. Well, thank you for having me, Dan. It was it was a lot of fun. I hope I helped somehow. Just oh, remember, you need a good groove too. That's right. Okay. There's yeah. like you can think and you hear the the specter beat. Right around it. Find your groove and then get grooving. And the That's lyric it. picks <laughs> something everybody says. Craft your lyrics. Yeah. He shoots, he scores. You like that, don't you? Winner. Can't that one wins. You can't go to G Casa. All right. Thank you so much, brother.